Finally tonight, it is graduation season and few members of the class of 2014 have traveled as tough a path to a diploma as the young woman Steve Hartman met on the road. Thank you. Thank you. This really Thank shouldn't you. be happening. Thank you. Statistically, as a foster kid, Gina Pearson was more likely to wind up behind bars than under a mortar board. And yet here she is, graduating from Rutgers University in New Jersey with a degree in social work. Congratulations to the class of 2000. With a master's ahead of her and so much baggage behind her. See, Gina didn't live in just one foster home. I would just always act out or something and then I would either get kicked out of the home or I would just run away or something like that. And how many times would that happen? A lot, like 30. 30? Yeah. 30 foster homes, from first grade right through high school, where freshman math teacher Cheryl Lynn Straubmuller remembers her behavior okay, you guys ready? all too well. You know, she had her own voice, wanted to be heard. And Sounds like you're uh, putting a positive spin on this. <laughs> Sounds like a nightmare, she was actually. Rough at first. Yeah. Okay, tell me like it is. <laughs> she was she was very rough at first. Um, she's in the classroom, and the next thing I know, I get hit upside the head with a golf ball. She threw a golf ball at you. She threw a golf ball in my direction and hit me in the head. Because and that was just one time. episode. Mrs. Straubmuller had dozens of other reasons to suggest Gina for expulsion. But instead, she took a different tack. She sent me an email and she asked me to babysit the kids. Wait, um, wait, she invited you to her house to babysit her kids? Mm -hmm. Why would she trust you? I don't know. You don't know? <laughs> <laughs> I think she just saw something that I didn't like even see in myself. Saw it and cultivated it long after Gina was out of her class. She was so consistent in sitting with me every day, even though she may have had something else to do. And we would just talk. She kind of helped me find myself. Mrs. Straubmuller encouraged Gina to buckle down, talked her into going to college, and the rest is future. I'm so proud of her. I really am so proud. She's made her own way. She realized what brain she had, and she finally used it. That's the best part about it. <laughs> this graduation season, every kid under cap and gown should be able to point to at least one person who made it all possible. Congratulations. Thank you. You're so welcome. And if they're as wise as their degrees suggest, they will take Gina's advice to not just say thank you to that person, but to show thank you. Continuing to strive for success and for greatness, um, that is my thank you to her. I love you. I love you too so much. Steve Hartman, On the Road, in New Brunswick, New Jersey. And that's the CBS Evening News.